guys, what's going on? It's Semi Gardener, and I just thought I'd bring to you guys a little garden vlog. And I just thought I'd show you guys kind of what's been going on here. Um, the garden is pretty much winding down, uh, as you can see. There's uh, quite a bit of tomato forest still going on, but uh, it's not producing a whole lot. Um, the rabbits went through and just had a heyday on the lettuce bed that I planted out, so I'm pretty sure we're done with that. It, they just came in and um, the deer came in there too. See, as you can see, there's a deer print there, and I mean, they even ate the tops of the tomato seedlings that came up. I mean, really, seriously, tomato seedlings. Like, they will eat anything. They're the fattest things around. Uh, strawberry plants that I just planted. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come up, I'm gonna have to devise a, uh, a plan to, to maybe make a, a little mesh cage around here, because they're fat. They'll seriously eat anything. Like, I don't understand why they try to eat every thing that uh, that grows but but they do and um, anyways my cucumbers are starting to taper out as you can see they're they're reaching the end of their life I got a quite I got a lot of cucumbers so I'm I'm happy with that um, and I don't see any zucchini in here but the zucchini plants never got uh, they never got the the squash vine borer which is great they all did amazing uh, my peppers Pretty happy with them this year. I didn't get a whole ton, but at the cottage I made up for it. I got a lot of uh, peppers. I got some beautiful ones coming on in here. Um, as you can see, these are really big, beautiful peppers. They're supposed to turn, uh, you know, they're supposed to turn red. They're an Anaheim chili, but they're not turning red, so I might just end up picking them sometime. Um, and then my Cubanelles here. My Cubanelles are looking absolutely beautiful. Just you got some great color to them, but they're not turning yet. Uh, potatoes really haven't grown a whole lot, so I'm not sure if they need to be harvested. I know they're supposed to die off. I've grown them before, but um, these uh, these potatoes mature really late um, because this bed, when I harvested, I got a lot of small ones. I got a ton of small ones, but they weren't too big. Uh, they are more of like an early potato, so they were... They were flavorful, but they weren't as big as they could get. Um, so I'm, I'm letting these last as long as they can last, but they just got done flowering, and they haven't grown a whole lot. They've, they've just kind of focused putting out like a really neat top, and literally that's like all they've done. They just, they're just sitting there. They haven't grown at all. Um, and, um, and so that's, I mean, that's what those are doing. My carrots, um, the deer came in here and got the tops off because again you know they can't respect my space whatsoever and um, I think it's gonna be about time to harvest but um, we're gonna let them go probably another week or so um, maybe two more weeks but as you can see if I if I pick one here um, you know they're they're a decent size this was one of the smaller ones I never came in here and thinned um, like see right there those need to be thinned so, I mean, like, I'll come in here and see how that one is, like, super small. Like, that's like a, that's like a nothing carrot. But there are going to be some really big ones in here. Um, I just need to, uh, I just need to take the time to thin them out a little bit. Maybe get some more growth out of them. But I'm not concerned because most likely they'll be used in salads and soups and stews. So, uh, it's not a big, big issue of mine. And then the uh, tomatoes, as you can see, are starting to taper off. They got late blight, and as anyone knows, late blight is, I mean, it's basically, it's its preventable, but it's not really curable once you have it. Um, so it's just kind of a, just kind of a waiting game, letting everything die off, harvesting what I can. I'm not fertilizing anymore, I'm not really watering anymore, uh, just, just letting the uh, nature take its course now, and um, the plants I cannot be I could not be happier with uh, the big zacks um, I'm very very pleased with I'm definitely going to try this variety again next year 
I would have to say though that my favorite variety out of this whole garden had to be the striped German. Um, they still are producing giant tomatoes here. As you can see, I mean, that's just a beast of a tomato. And they even have one ripe one, if I can get in here and get this tomato. Look at this tomato. That is a beautiful, beautiful tomato. And uh, just a little, it's a kind of a deformity, but that is just a gorgeous bicolored tomato. Definitely over a pound. That's the way they've all been. They've all been just so big. So, um, yeah, that's, that's the way it's been going lately. Uh, you know, one here, one there. Just getting what I can. And um, um, I also wanted to show you my basil bush here. This is about, I think, three or four plants in here. And I've just been cutting the tops off like I showed in my my one video here and as you can see with my carrot pointer <laughs> that's where I cut off and it just made this uh, the side shoot that's what I've been doing constantly and and that's been working really really good I see another tomato in here this is the uh, giant Belgium beautiful tomato decent size Pretty much a picture-perfect tomato, I'd say. So I just want to thank you guys for tuning in. I love it, seeing all you guys come out and watch my videos. It's really nice. And I'm also really excited to tell you guys that I have some super exciting episodes planned in the future. Um, coming into the, the season that uh, not a lot of people grow stuff, a lot of people know, if you guys have been watching me for a while, that I do a lot of stuff indoors and I have some super exciting stuff that's been happening indoors. One of which I'll post right after this video. It's a picture of my, it's a lime tree and it's really surprising that, um, you know, a lot of people have actually been posting videos of their lime trees. Um, I know like Dylan, Dylan one five something, it's Dylan and some numbers. Um, she posted a video of her lime tree and then, um, uh, someone else posted a video of their lime tree that they were they were doing uh, like transplanting their limes. I watched so many videos that uh, I can't remember who does who or uh, who does what, but uh, I know there's been like four or five people that um, that have been doing lime tree videos, and I'll be the fifth one. So um, I'm not not copying, but it's really exciting for me because. Uh, well, you'll see. You'll see after this video. I'll post the clip. And um, and also, I do have some really exciting how-to videos for indoor gardening. And one of them is going to be a microgreen series because I'm really going to get into microgreens until maybe about mid-February. Then I'm going to switch over to tomato plants again and some pepper plants. And I'm going to mix it up next year, but that's going to be a surprise for you guys for next year. So it'll keep you guys wanting to tune in and it'll keep you guys excited about gardening and about growing big or going home. So uh, I just really appreciate you guys for tuning in. I'm also going to head up to the cottage and do some harvesting. So I'll show you guys maybe the harvest uh, if I have time. I don't know, I'm really cramped for uh, time. So whatever I can get, I can get. I'm really happy about yeah, I really appreciate you guys tuning in and I cannot thank you guys enough. So keep tuning in and keep growing big or going home. And as always, I will see you guys later. Also, as a quick note, uh, the biggest tomato contest is ending October 1st. I haven't done a whole lot of updates, but the current leader is on that video. You can see all their other videos, which is really cool. And also, if you want to participate, I think it'd be really cool and really fun to see kind of the biggest tomato you've grown, even if you can't beat the record. I just, I really like seeing people show up, uh, show up for it. And so your participation is appreciated, but not required so go check it out I'll post a link somewhere up here so you guys can find the video it's pretty fun and like I said the winner will be announced on October 1st when it closes and they'll win a $50 Visa gift card and an MI Gardener t-shirt so that's pretty exciting and it's pretty fun so hopefully you guys will check it out and I will talk to you guys later see ya bye hey YouTube totally random post here uh, just thought I'd 
show you guys. Look what I saw when I walked into my room. This is my lime tree. I know, it's dark, but this is the first thing I saw when I walked into my room when I got home from college. I walked in and I'm like, whoa, what is that? And look. It's just the most beautiful set of little flowers there. And then, what's more? It's flowering some more. There's some more right there. And what's even really cool is look. You look right here. I got some mini limes. This thing is not even two years old. This thing is just barely two years old. And it's already fruiting. So I'm really, really excited. I think it's uh, it's showing that it's healthy. And um, after it flowers and fruits, I think I'm probably going to take off these growing tips and force some more side shoots out. But um, but yeah, there's a lot of people sleeping. So I uh, just thought I'd show you guys that. It's pretty cool. So, so yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that.